chuck it on top of all this. Yeah. <laughs> you chose the right side, so that door handle doesn't work on this side. Hey. Hey, sorry. I'm making a video of you. Where are we going, Dan? Supermarket. <laughs> Where are we going to the supermarket, Dan? Uh, I don't know, it's a little. There's a Sainsbury's. Morrison's all right along this. What, Sainsbury's? Little? I think Morrison's is the best. It's a Tesco's. Go about again, okay, Morrison's. So it's not much. Yeah, I've heard Sainsbury's is a good shout. Let's go. What are we actually doing, Dan? <laughs> like this weekend? We're walking. Cool. To, in the Peak District, we're doing like 40 miles or something. Cool. How's your packing gone? Terribly. <laughs> I was so upset as I was leaving. I just didn't know what was going on in my life. Dan, uh, Dan forgot his roll map? No, I do have one apparently. Oh. I thought it was a camping chair, but then Lauren called me the way and she assures me that it's something else. <laughs> I really hope it's a camping chair. <laughs> We're not staying here. I love it. Nice shot, your bottom down. Oh, conveniently, already a tent here. There's some food. <laughs> Got a tent with not many pegs. <laughs> no guide ropes today. There's, there's two. There's oh, two yeah, on nice. the front. We'll just be on the other side of the hill tomorrow morning. <laughs> what makes a good potato salad? Well, the potatoes are a tough bit. They need to be soft. A lot of people undercook the potatoes, and I think that really takes away from it. Melt, melt in your mouth potatoes with a potato salad, definitely, but still enough to hold their shape. Okay. Other than that, it's all about sauce ratio, I think, really. So, you want a good amount of sauce, good amount of coating, but you don't want to be pulling your potatoes out of liquid, and then after that, it's just about the seasoning you put on it, really. So, there's, there's a lot of factors, a lot of places to go wrong, and they've done well. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you can't see, can you? No. <laughs> How was the barbecue? Talk to the light. Barbecue was good. It's a shame it ran out of energy before we could finish off those last two steaks, but... I feel like we were still pretty accomplished. Yeah. I'm more, definitely... more interested in finding out that my bum is an extremity though. It is like surprisingly cold. Almost as cold as my hands. And they were the oh. coldest thing before. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty thin. Yeah, it's, my bum's cold before that. I'll be alright. I'm I'm toasty in here now. If I bring it around my neck, I'll be alright. So need to warm my hands up a bit though. My bum's pretty cold. Oh, that is bright. My bum's pretty cold too. Cold bum night. Yeah. So, uh, to warm up somehow. Looking forward to the walk tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to the walk, yeah. I'm excited to see the route we got planned. I didn't look in too much detail. I hear we've got a hill early on and I like I like hills, good views. There is lots of hills tomorrow. We love a good hill. Looking cool. forward to it. Good night folks. Good night. Morning Dan. Morning Liam. <laughs> How did you sleep? That's okay, I got a bit toasty. A bit of cramp or something. I did a bit of stretching. I decided to go for the pillow again in the end. This is alright. I subbed out and just lay on the floor, but that was a bit horrible and cold. <laughs> and I had a weirdly cold shoulder for some of the night as well. And I realised this whole thing had like slipped down, so one of my shoulders was just resting on this. And it got like solely freezing on its own. So then I fixed it and everything was okay. How was your night? I got, I got, I got a cold bum. Still, yeah, I got a cold bum. I had to get up to go for a wee, and my wee stank of that blue cheese <laughs> sauce. That's impressive. And uh, we're late getting up because your alarm's on silent. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an error. <laughs> I'll take full responsibility for that. Just set off. We're off. There's lambs over there. 
I can't see. Oh, yeah, hey. Step to you. Galloping. Having a race. Galloping on. <laughs> so, we've already got lost once. <laughs> Had to get the map the out. First 10 meters. Oh, we're following a man with a dog. Yeah, I can't. He's, he's disappeared. We can't. Uh, we follow you around this one time, which is, that dog looks fancy. Okay. We made it to the top. Where are we going with the uh, yoghurt with Dan? Uh, I'm going to do my fingers I think. But you're going to just drink it as I hear. Dan forgot to bring the cutlery. I forgot to bring the cutlery. Do fruity glasses count? They've got some surface area. <laughs> Dan's brought the important stuff, 3D glasses. <laughs> There's no point going up a hill if you can't see it in 3D. Yeah. Dan's going over the stepping stones which he's been really excited about. We've had more issues. Sorry. Dan thought he was eating his uh, his Coco Chaos. Instead he ate my peanut power, so I did. now I'm left with a Coco Chaos for and breakfast. I don't even like peanuts. <laughs> so I can go eat the peanut butter. Not happy. How was the, the, the peanut power? Well, it tasted a bit nutty at the beginning, I was like, it's a bit weird for a chocolate flavoured bar. But then <laughs> as it progressed I just got into it and actually I kind of want more now. <laughs> quite, quite more -ish. We had a bit of a after you, we had a bit of a bit of a nightmare working out which way we were going because this footpath isn't particularly clear and this sty is an edge. So couldn't spot it. There's the there's the lens. We'll call it Get the map. Right. <laughs> he's following us. No, he's not. We're all good. Oh, yeah, it's probably expect, it's probably expecting food. Yeah. What does sheep eat? Grass, I guess, isn't it? They don't, they don't really expect you to bring grass for them to spend a year. <laughs> We're uh, trying to find, find the sty in this wall, which is not well marked at all. So, heading up. Oh, how do I do this? Heading up that hole there. We got the Lord of the Rings started. That's where we've come from. Right there, actually. Like, that way is where we've come from. It's fun fast. The way orchestras do this, and they do like a whole piece that has like little chunks of the bits of songs you hear, and just jam it all in them together. So they'd be impractical to play like six hours of music for the whole film. So let's do little scores and mix all the songs in. We were supposed to be stopping for lunch at 12 at a pub, but I worked it out wrong. We're stopping there at two. But we're like an hour away, and it is well, we are well ahead of schedule. quarter past 11. Nine and a half miles, and about realistically three and a half hours. So, we're going to stop for food in a bit, just have a snack, and then have lunch when we get to, what's it called, Dan? Wetton. To Wetton. 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 Um, but, more importantly, Dan, what's your least favourite food? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. We've just learned why Dan doesn't like tomatoes. Delator is terrible at eating them in Lord of the Rings. It put me off spewing it everywhere. <laughs> it's just not polite. So, uh, need to work out what other films have put Dan off food. Is there anything else you can think of off the top of your head? No, I don't like mushrooms. I don't think that's Lord of the Rings from here. <laughs> we have uh, we've stopped for some food. We've got, to a, we've got to a good stopping point, so we're just having some snacks. Controversially, mm. not the classic hiking food, stuffed Definitely cherry classic. peppers. Definitely the classic hiking food. Also, just, oh, I was going to try and get you to eat that Denethor style. No. They're very I close to close tomatoes. Don't say that. This is, this is incredibly, a cherry pepper is incredibly close to a cherry tomato. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's what I'm going for. Wow. Hey Dan. Uh, How's lunch? Really nice. Yeah, Lasagna and good. chips. Very wholesome and calorie epic. So, uh, made a bit of a mistake. That took us the wrong way for like two miles now. My feet hurt. So we need to go like another two miles back. But it's very nice. 
Um, the silver lining. Um, we met a sheep with massive balls. He got angry at us. Keith, Norman, Keith the sheep. Normally we need to get up here. Normally uh, the sheep get out of our way and the cows are the angry ones. Scary angry ones. But Keith the sheep was pretty mad. Pretty mad. So now we're taking a different route so that we can make up some of that time. Walking the other side of a hill to what we were supposed to walk. Oh. Dan, we're done. Yeah. Done for the day. Mm. Walking on stumps. We walked a lot further than we meant to. But someone know? wouldn't stop and ask for directions. Can I have a map? Um, I'm eating cheesecake. We're just eating a whole cheesecake. It was great. You did not cheesecake. I'm not at anything. <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been shoving cheesecake in your mouth on this video. <laughs> I think I'm trying to catch up. The tent stayed up during the day, during the wind. Dan's feet are sore. Yeah. Oh, shouldn't have worn new shoes really, should I? Go DJ, that's my DJ. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Go DJ, yeah, can't see anything. Fair, we've just had dinner in the dark with uh, the friendliest guy in the world. Uh, we found a fish and chip shop that was open and the guy was incredible. He just like every nice word possible to everyone who came in. And uh, he let Dan that he couldn't finish his dinner. Anyone. <laughs> um, you're excited about the walk tomorrow, Dan? No, I think I feel I'm pessimistic. I feel just throbbing still. <laughs> I don't know. I think you'll be right. The walk doesn't look so bad. Yeah, it's flatter and shorter tomorrow. So hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll make it. But we've got an early morning so that we can decamp. And seeing as we have not got anything on this video, <laughs> I can pretend that we're in the tent right now because. Yeah, we've been packing up. Yeah. But the weather's nicer. It's sunny. We're in a field. There's cues. How are you feeling today, Dan? I'm good. I've got blisters in between my toes. I'm causing a bit of discomfort. Other than that, I'm in the belly. Nice. I am a bit worried about. The, uh, the distance today on sore feet and sore legs. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, so we're on a bit of a detour because uh, there's cows following us over here. We were supposed to be going down in that corner of the field but they came and blocked us off. And these guys here more scared of us than I thought. But the big guy over there wasn't moving out of the way. The old one. But they're following us up the hill. Everything's gone terribly. It has. We try, we, we left, we've been walking for 25 minutes. Half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> and we're already heading back to the campsite because it turns out that the National Trust and what they're doing and their maps are wrong. And there's no trails where they say there should be trails. Is basically it. And so we got to the edge of the field where I meant to join a trail and there wasn't any trails. So now we've got to go back and take a massive detour. Yeah. Yay. Um had a had a great conversation about politics. About politics. Religion and theology. About yeah, a religion, theology, human evolution. Yeah. And uh, Dan Scooch. It's a bit raw. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going a bit better with the pace now. So, stopping for lunch, in, for, sorry, for breakfast in like an hour. We have, uh, we've just stopped for lunch and Dan's giving me some great animal advice here. Breakfast. Breakfast, sorry. Breakfast. Um, 
Dan, what was your advice with animals? You should always approach a new animal if you don't know whether it's friendly and you want to pet it. You should approach it with a closed fist, and that's because, firstly, it can't take your fingers off so easily, and it's less threatening. So otherwise, you do it with an open hand. You think you're gonna karate chop them? Do you want to tell me why they think you're gonna karate chop them? Well, because that's how they do it within their own species. <laughs> they don't punch each other because they don't have fists. So it's more of a karate chop, and that's what they're expecting. All strange animals karate chop each other. Exactly. Well, if you have hands, what are you gonna do? We uh, we just had our near death experience with the cows. Was, uh, we came around the corner and some cows jumped us. And, uh, they did actually jump. Yeah. In fairness, it was. I've never seen a cow gallop like that. It was a pretty scary cow. Yeah. Uh, it was kicking away. I uh, I needed the loo, but I'm all sorted now. <laughs> It's gone back inside. I'd hide going? there too if I could. <laughs> are we going um, Are we going this way down? Yeah, it should curve around and crop at some point. It's also very nice around here. I mean, everywhere's nice, but look. I can't believe cows live in this field. Yeah, but this is one of the parts. I don't think we can go wrong. Oh, no, it doesn't. We do branch off from the stream. So, uh, we've not picked the best place to walk. The weather's, the weather's pretty nice now, nice it's been all day, uh, but I don't know if you can see behind or here, there are two tractors mowing this big grass oh, field, the <laughs> like the biggest lawn mower I've ever seen, up there, so, there somewhere, and uh, me and Dan are struggling a bit, we didn't take our antihistamines today, or didn't bring any with us, um, so yeah, we're struggling. A little bit. We're on the final stretch, going down to the Tiskington Trail over there. Not walking, drinking. Had a lovely lunch. <coughs> had roast beef from the farm over there. Dan had pork yeah. from the butchers over there. But we haven't seen any pigs. No, I, I don't know. I reckon it might have been horse. Could have been. Um, we uh, we found out what all the problems were with getting lost. Yeah, we did, didn't we? When didn't? I say we, I found out what the problem was. It says the cause Cause, of the problem. Because I read the key a while ago. And uh, yeah, it turns out I'm not great on my OS map keys. The reason we kept getting lost was uh, I was trying to take us along constituency boundaries. I mean, we'd already taken the pretty bad mistake of going down what Liam thinks is an other path. It wasn't a footpath, wasn't anything else. He thinks the path is others. So we decided we'd include those in our route, which is already a bad idea. Only to find out they're actually border markings. Constituency markings. But now we know where the, the constituency for... Uh, I don't know what constituency this would be. I don't know, but it's in the middle of a field. Yep. Not near a footpath. So, uh, so that was that was where we went wrong this morning. So I said, since it's come out, I think we're uh, think it helps with walking a bit. Dan has this theory. D do you want to say what your theory is, Dan? People photo synthesise slightly, not a lot, but definitely a little bit. And do you remember what you said when you said people photosynthesize? synthesise? Why they photosynthesize? synthesise? The chloroform in your body. Because we have a little bit of chloroform in our blood. Do it, no, <laughs> they do it with chlorophyll in their blood. <laughs> Chloroform's what dentists used to use to knock people out. <laughs> okay, well, like four of the five syllables are the same. <laughs> Scientists aren't that pedantic. That was just me getting my own back for making a <laughs> dumb mistake of trying to take us down, down boundaries, do. down constituency borders. We've uh, we've made it onto the Tissington Trail, so we're pretty much back. Well, I say we're pretty much back. We've still got like three miles. Along here, till we get back to Rivendell, to the car. Done. Yeah. We've walked like, we're at this point like 38 miles, something like that. Yeah. What have you learned? Yeah, we've been we've been learning plants and animals. Yep. There are many yeah. different ones, but if you forget, they're probably all cow parsley or cow slips. <laughs> That's if you say that, your odds are in. What's the other thing? What's the other thing? Oh. Map signs, what have you learned? <laughs> Don't follow anything that's called other. <laughs> so, uh, 
Dan is trying to name all the stately homes in England. Yeah. So, up to you, Dan. Uh, I can't remember that already. Lord Bovril's Hovel. Okay. Um, Lady Babington's abode. Okay. Yeah. Um, Count Consular. <laughs> some mansion. Okay. He lives opposite Lady Consular. Okay. In a shed. So and what's uh, what's their shed called? Is it called the shed? The shed. She's, yeah. she's really upset about it. Cool. He lives in a mansion. Yeah. Um, I think that's all of them, actually. All of them? Yeah. All four? Yeah. Cool. Dan, I can see it. See what? See, I can see Rivendell. Yeah, I can. Where? See, see. What? See that? Oh, there's a bike coming. Uh, that is. Oh, shit, me. Where is it? Oh, it's really out there. They're all on a tandem there, real quick. Um, so, right. I'm going to point to it on here. Right. Here, there's a telegraph pole. Yep. It's at the campsite. Is that it? That's the bridge that we come off at. This is the this is, this is this is this is the dirt That's biking. The oh shit, I can That's see the dirt it biking. Now. Yeah, I can actually see it. Yeah, oh. you can see this you can see the red sign. I've already crossed my hopes because I was like last time I thought it was the right one, it was one further than that. But I'm not gonna get hopeful. It means we're only halfway there. Oh yeah, it's every halfway oh, there. Oh, so close. He's a beaten man. Go on, walk. <laughs> Let's try to walk naturally now. I just caught him walking over from the car, holding like an old man. Get in here. Go get our coffee before we head home. We're in the car, on the way home. Dan's feet are sore. <laughs> We're uh, pussy. Pussy. Ugh. All, uh, all ready for New Zealand now? Yep. Yeah, you reckon you can do I, it? This, this weekend's convinced me that it should just be a DOS. So I think we should ramp it up a bit. Yeah. 30 mile day, I reckon, just so you feel a bit tired, get a bit of fitness out of it. Yeah, probably, probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Bye.